Hello students, welcome to HSC Chemistry and the Organic Chemistry module. This is video number 21 and we're going to be looking at production of alcohols by the process of fermentation. So I imagine that, um, that this will be one of the important ones that we need to have a look at in terms of practical activities and the best way to investigate the production of alcohols including fermentation is through an experiment. And I'm sure that that's one of the important things that we will do to reinforce this one. But it's important just to be aware of the equation uh, and how this process works and the, some of the key conditions required for the fermentation of uh, glucose. So the important thing about fermentation is that this is a particular process that is used for the production of ethanol. There are a few important conditions that we need to consider when looking at the process of fermentation. The first is it's a biological process. And yeast are involved in this process. So we have to have a, a biological agent in order for fermentation to take place. And yeast are the uh, particular agent that's involved. We also need an aqueous solution of a simple sugar in comparison to the laboratory process where we would use something like glucose to demonstrate fermentation. This is a naturally occurring process and so even when we're looking at the production of alcoholic beverages like beer and wine, it's going to be natural substances and natural sources of sugar such as grapes from where we will uh, source that glucose for the process of fermentation. Fermentation also requires anaerobic conditions. You'll see from the equation that we do not uh, include oxygen as part of this respiration process. And so therefore, it's often referred to as anaerobic respiration, at least one form of anaerobic respiration. It is an energy producing reaction that occurs in living organisms, uh, but it's one that occurs in the absence of oxygen. And because it's a living process, it also has some fairly important requirements around the optimum temperatures for this reaction to occur. And that's usually between about 30 and 35 degrees Celsius. So these are some of the important conditions that are required for the process of fermentation. The equation for fermentation is the one that's shown here on the slide. So you can see that we only have one reactant and that is glucose. Glucose in solution. And that glucose, as I mentioned previously, can be sourced from natural sources such as grapes, malt, potatoes, uh, any sort of um, plant material that has uh, sugar at its base. And the yeast, which are the microorganisms, are going to be carrying out their form of anaerobic respiration or fermentation on the sugar source. That produces this molecule, ethanol and also carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is given off as a gas and that's one of the reasons you will see during the fermentation process there'll be lots of bubbles being produced uh, if the reaction is proceeding and if the, uh, the reaction is proceeding well. One of the problems with the fermentation process is that it can only produce solutions up to around about 15% um, ethanol by volume. Much more than that and the uh, concentration is too high for the yeast to survive and so therefore they will die or stop reproducing at that point. Um, so we get uh, a maximum that, uh, of 15% alcohol in uh, a fermentation vat. Obviously processes like distillation can remove some of the water uh, or at least remove some of the ethanol and can concentrate those um, particular beverages, particularly spirits, uh, to much higher percentages than 15%. This is an important reaction involved in the production of alcohols. It's a specific one um, for the production of ethanol, uh, but it's one of the ones that we need to have a look at in terms of the way that alcohols can be produced. Thanks for watching.